Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have my good friends Shantra and Jocelyn who just graduated cruise on vacation. I have all the confetti happening for you ladies today. <laughs> How does you. it feel to be recent uh, cruise on vacation certified? Awesome. A relief. Yeah. Uh, yes. Look, it took me a few extra weeks, but that's okay. I made it. That, that's a beautiful thing. It's self-paced. Jocelyn, how about for you? Oh, I'm so excited. I um definitely am so glad that it's over just because I was navigating the end of the school year with my kiddos and doing that at the same time, but also just so grateful to like learn everything that I did get to learn in that um, and then take on clients, like do what brought me like to you. So I'm super pumped. That's awesome. Well, I would love to start with uh, you guys know when we kind of talk about these case studies, we just like to share your journey, what it was like to kind of go through the program. So I would love, let's start with Chantra and then we'll, Jocelyn, we'll do uh, you next, but let's talk about where you were before taking careers on vacation and where you are now. Okay. Well, I'm a 17 year veteran of the travel industry, but I was all over the place. So I didn't have my processes in place. I didn't have any kind of procedures. And it's, every time someone called me, I kind of like cringe because I had to start from scratch trying to mm -hmm. figure out what to do. And Careers on Vacation gave me that roadmap. It gave me that workflow that I definitely needed. So now when someone calls, I know exactly where I'm starting. I know what I need to do. And I know how it's all going to end because I got everything in place. That's so great. It, it, it's been a relief. <laughs> it is a relief because I feel like you can be a really talented travel advisor, but unless you have all the processes and systems, that's yes. what allows you to like grow so much faster. So you were on our experience track. Correct. That's that yes. be a great perspective to talk through. And Jocelyn, which track were you on, newbie or experienced? I was on the newbie track, like no experience, a thought process that like went far, you know, so yeah. totally new to the industry. Love it. So talk to us about your journey from you were new to the industry and then where are you now just 12 weeks later? Yeah. So um, at the beginning, it was just me and my husband. We're like in this transitional time. We have three kiddos. So we're like reevaluating life. And at, like at the time, I was just a stay at home mom homeschooling my kids. And we had like these big dreams we wanted to accomplish, but like we don't like to compromise on anything. So it was like, how do we make these big dreams happen? And I was like, I think I'm the answer. And I've really been pulled to wanting to be a travel agent. I love to do it just like many travel agents out there. You're planning all the trips for your friends and family and you find so much joy in it. And so I just like had the thought and I like YouTubed travel agencies and like you came up. And so I literally think I watched two videos and I was like, I'm kind of sold on this. I'm just going to put like an inquiry in and see what happens like really quickly. I think like 24, 48 hours later, I had someone calling um, and then they were so wonderful. They got me into the program like the next week or something. It was like really quick. Um, so I was like, man, okay, we're doing this. Like had zero concept of the travel, like what the travel agency or industry is like on an agency perspective just on a consumer side and so I was like super nervous not confident at all like I was like man I can do this like how I've always done it but I don't know what this entails and so I came into it with a lot of nerves I was looking back at my notes like when I was asking like the onboarding um team like all those um questions that they talk you through and I was like wow I was really nervous but I feel like I came out of it um, so confident. And now I know all the things, you know, and then on top of that, I just finished booking my 13th trip. Um, and I'm closing out at 27,000 in sales. So I've, I'm super pumped. And I was like, just so grateful for this experience. That's amazing. And I love, and first of all, I want to back up because you said I was just a homeschool. There's no just in front of a homeschool. <laughs> that is so much work. We homeschooled our kids when they were younger. And by yeah. we, I mean, my husband did because I did none of that. So I yeah. know how much work it is to kind of put that together, but I love your, your journey of like, you don't, and with both of you guys, you don't know what you don't know. And so exactly. until you put those pieces together, that's mm -hmm. what kind of lets you kind of exponentially like take off. Right. So uh, yeah. Jocelyn, you shared a big win or celebration. That's a question I like to ask. Let me throw that back to Chandra. What has been your biggest win or celebration since taking the course? 
Well, I think it was just understanding uh, and developing my workflow. Like I said before, I just did not like that. I was just, I felt so unorganized and just all over the map. But with that workflow in place, it's like now I really feel confident. Even after 17 years, mm -hmm. uh, I was just winging it because I was doing it part time. So now I'm doing it full time. And I was like, okay, I got to do better than this. I can't just every time someone call, I got to figure out what's next. I right. need to know what's next. So now I know. And I can just crank it out and get it done in five minutes. Well, and yeah. Chandra, if we back up 17 years, a lot of the technology that existed in the industry is That's way right. different than what yeah. exists today. Yeah. So, you know, just yeah. from that perspective, I imagine putting, you know, technology to work to Correct. save time and energy it probably made a big difference. And just having the support because you didn't have this kind of support back then. I think with social media, it just really helps because that's one of the things I really love about the program is the support and that you have those one on one coach calls and everything. It's just that human element. Yeah, it really does make a difference. We're the only um, travel school out there that I'm aware of that really yes. has real humans in the program, yeah. real teachers, real experts, real coaches, real mentors. And that, I feel like that is just like the secret sauce of actually yes. getting people results. But with yes. that, I want to ask you guys, and, and Chandra, you mentioned uh, coaching being one of your favorite parts, but I would love to hear from you um, what kind of that favorite thing of the program or favorite couple things that maybe you didn't know we had, or that were, I, I don't know, just from your perspective, looking at the lens of what you thought Wanderlust campus was. And then once you got inside, so we'll start with Jocelyn, what was one of your favorite parts or pieces of the program? Yeah. So I think that like what I was saying, how I was so nervous, like even looking back at my notes, I thought it was going to be like this workbook that I go through and like, had a coaching call throughout it, but not as detailed as what it was. So like week one, where I was sitting there and it was like, okay, write out your schedule for your day. Like, what is your day going to look like? And I was like, oh, okay. Like we're, we're doing this like from the bottom up. And then it was like, now go to like your state licensing, like pull your LLC, do all these things. And I was like, okay, like, I feel like this is legit. Like it really like week one, I just was like, okay, we are really starting from the ground up. And then every time I would like have a question it would be answered like in either the calls that we got every week or the next mod. And so that was so helpful because it was honestly, I was kind of blown away. Like I was like, every time I come up with something or there's a worry or there's like a question, the next thing I was clicking open was like going to answer that for me. And so I, I <laughs> yes, literally, I was like, how do they do this? Like, how are they answering? They're like reading my minds and I like, I'm not even talk, you know, talking to them um, every single day. And so it was, I think from the start, it like exceeded my expectations with the ease of like going from the bottom up since I was so new um, and not knowing anything. I remember hearing like the word host agency and I'm like, what is a host agency, you know? And it was like, and now it's like, I know all of it. And it really was so wonderful to like walk through the beginning phases together. Cause like, you know, we're watching your videos. I feel like I know you so much, you know? So it's like, just doing all of that alongside um, you guys essentially was so helpful. Um, I'm not a big school person. I know I teach homeschooling, but like school was hard for me growing up. And so this was like just a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you said that we had and at the same time in the program you guys were in, we had a vice principal uh, actually do a case study about a week ago. And he said, this curriculum is so good. Like, and, yeah. and I'm, I'm just, that makes me so happy that you say that Jocelyn, because, because, one of the things we really try to do at Wanderlust Campus is understand people learn differently. Some people are very visual. Some people are auditory. Some people are tactile. So mm -hmm. the way that we've developed our, our curriculum is very intentional to reach all types of learners. And I think that's where the industry is really, not to get on a soapbox, but the industry is really going wrong is not e little these little e-programs are these one-for-all solutions don't mm -hmm. work for everybody. And that's mm -hmm. why it's like getting back into the classroom together and in community and doing these things I feel like we are, are graduating more successful agents, but also meeting you wherever you are on your learning journey, because I'm like, I'm not an auditory. My husband can be like, Hey, should we do X, Y, Z? And I'm like, I'm totally having another conversation going on in my mm -hmm. head. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm thinking about 27 things in the back of my brain yeah. right now. 
but it, but as far as like seeing it and tactile, I got it. But I but yes. I think those pieces are are really important as we grow as an industry in general. Yes. Yeah, yes. it felt super hands on. Like I felt mm-hmm. like I was in a class, cool. you know, because it was like this is what you're learning now. Like go write down what your thoughts are, That's and right. then here's your call this week. Like so, it felt very like. It was very intentional. That's yeah. for sure. And you have to work on those. That's the, when you're so new in the industry, you have to have that skills base. Like we're going to teach it to you, but now we need to practice it. If you're really mm-hmm. going to feel confident mm-hmm. about using the skills. Chandra, yeah. what about you? Uh, any other pieces of the program that just really stood out for you as a kind of a veteran in the industry? Well, even uh, bouncing off what you guys just said, I like that too about the visual. So Mm -hmm. I would get in front of one computer and I'd have my other computer going with the videos and I'm actually doing whatever we're teaching in the marketing class because that's one of my that was one of my struggles still is but I've been able to walk through and get things done in Canva (laughs) that I've never done before just by walking through those videos over and over until I got it so a lot of that really helped because I'm the visual as mm-hmm. more so than just reading it, I got to have hands on and do it. So yeah. that really me. And I think I just like the program because it meets you where you are because everybody is at a different place. So yeah. a lot of the uh, things that were on the checklist, I didn't have to worry about because I already had those things, but it still met me where I needed to be because that marketing. And like I said, those processes and workflows was what I needed. Well, and it's, it can be highly technical, right? So it's yes. little tutorials of how to do this ABC yeah. one, two, three, let me, let us walk you through it. And also yes. how many things changed while you guys in that 12 weeks, like meta updated this, this updated here. Yeah. So our curriculum is more interactive. It evolves and grows as exactly. the industry changes. And you guys know, we had that update section. This has been updated. This has been updated. So even yes. as a graduate, you guys get those updates. So it's not outdated it. the minute you finish. I know. I love it. It's it's great. It's great. So what I'd love you for you guys to go back in your mind's eye of like when you were watching videos or whatever you found us online and you're like, Ooh, do I need this thing? What would you tell that person who's on the fence? And I would love if Jocelyn could share for like that new person perspective and Chandra for you as an experienced uh, agent, what would you want to tell that person? Oh, yes. Um, so I would a thousand percent recommend it. I know that if you're new into the industry and don't know anything, you're kind of looking at either like leaving a job or starting something new. There's so much like fear that can go right feel fear of failure and yeah. I think that when we push past that fear like we see the gold at the end of like that tunnel and I think that the way you guys like lay everything out like every thought process I had and like mental struggle I had throughout the program was always met by those like mindset calls mm-hmm. um and those um seminars that are throughout it So it kind of like debunks that every time, like you hit another level into creating your own company, um, your own company. And I mean, I don't know if like I could have done this without this program. Like I've told my husband so many times, I'm like, I don't know how people just straight up do this without any coaching. Like I've gotten just because there's so many layers and then so many layers upon those layers, in my opinion, you know, because we all think travel, it's like, oh, just book it and move on. But there's so much more. And so I definitely would recommend 100%. And if it's fear holding you back, you know, like, kind of push that to the side and take the leap of faith and just know that Wanderlust Campus has got you, you know, and they really walk you through everything. And so definitely would recommend. That's a good point, Jocelyn. And the mindset, uh, it's its integrated into the program. We know that you guys are learning a lot and that's something that we kind of walk you through. And, I, and Jocelyn, even at the earlier in the call said, you know, she was booking travel and doing the things, but booking travel for consumers is completely mm-hmm. different than booking travel for yourself. So it's understanding how to bridge those gaps. And mm-hmm. a lot of new people just don't understand the industry is way more complicated than you think think yeah. it is. And yeah. uh, so with that, Chandra, from your perspective, yeah. if someone's on the fence, what would you want that experienced yes. agent to know? I would tell the experienced agent, they need this. They really need this because there's something that you still can get from this program. 
Like mm -hmm. I said, it's customized for everyone. And see, I know a lot of experienced agents just like myself. We're using two, three CRMs and we're doing two, three things over and over again. You can streamline those processes with this program. If you could, it has everything together. I wish I knew this even five years ago. Yeah. because I could have said, because that's really when my business started to take off was maybe around 2017. And I still had been struggling on the paperwork side, just the workflow side. I could have really been much further along, but thank God I found you. So I'm I so tell the experienced agent, you still need this. It's something in here for you. I like that. And also understand for those of us that are watching that may be experienced or new, we have two different learning tracks. Mm -hmm. So even though Jocelyn was on the new agent track and Chandra was on the experience track, Jocelyn will get the experienced uh, content after uh, she gets through the new content. So you don't, uh, you're not behind ever in the program, which speaking of additional bonuses that we don't even really talk about a lot on these calls, what did you guys think about the booking Academy and the goals tracker for like tools that you're going to now take into the future as far as running your business. I thought that was awesome because that was one of my things too. I really, because I'm not that Disney person, but I always struggle with booking Disney. It was like, you know, it's different than anything else, but I appreciated the trainings with Jamie, my coach, shout out to Jamie. <laughs> and I appreciate that booking Academy because it gives you step-by-step -step how to book. So, and, and like I said, that was one of my things. You can know where to go, but then when you get there, what do you do? And that's a good point, Chandra. Your job, and I always tell people, especially when they're new and they feel like they have to know everything, your job is actually not to know everything. It's to know mm -hmm. where to go to yep. find the most up-to-date yes. information, yes. which is what is in that booking academy. Jocelyn, what do you think yeah. about the booking academy or the vault or any of the, the goal tracker tools, any of those perks yeah. that you get to take along with you? Yeah, so the booking academy, I love so much. First of all, I think the way that it was laid out, like just speaks to the way I do learn. I need it to be like fun and not as like crazy, like paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. And mm -hmm. so the way you guys have it laid out, how it's like booking Disney, like we were just talking about, you know, it's like just the different segments of booking Disney and then there's a video. And then it's like these little cheat sheets throughout all of like the booking Academy. And so I love the way that was laid out and I still use it. You know, like if someone's asking me a question about a trip, I'm like, let me go back on here and like, go see what they said. Um, but I, yeah, I love it. The goal tracker. I'm like super competitive with myself sometimes. And so it's like to put in my goals and then watch that tracker, like keep going. Yes. Like, yes. Oh, the man. tracker through the curriculum. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It definitely eggs me on. That's for sure. Like, and I, again, it's all visual for me. And so it's like, just so I, I love it, you know, and I've, Obviously we get like access to this after the program, which is so wonderful just because like my biggest worry coming in was like, okay, once the 12 weeks are over, like, am I like cut off? You know, like what if I have questions? Is there any way I can go back? And so the fact that we have access to like all of that still mm -hmm. is just so awesome, you know? I love that. Yeah. And when the goal tracker or the tracker with the progress tracker, that one doesn't come up a lot, but you're right. I'm very like task oriented. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, it's yes. this much away. And so you get to, for those of you who don't know, you get to watch as you complete pieces of the course, it tracks your progress. So by the end, you're at hundred percent, you uh, take your final exam, you earn your certification and then yes. your certification tools unlock. So you have this marketing package to help position you as an expert. And then Jocelyn and Chandra can use uh, their new uh, credentials, the CT certified travel professional CTP at the end of their signature, which is a trade uh, it's in the trademarking process. So they have access to things that set them apart in, in that consumer world. So all of those uh, goodies, of course, are available for our grads as well. Last yeah. question, ladies, would you recommend careers on vacation for someone who is in your similar position? But what's the number one reason why? Chandra, we'll start with you on this one. Yes, 1000%. I have already recommended it to a couple of my colleagues already. They are watching your videos. They, they're considering it. So I really hope they come on in because it has everything you need. And like I said, it meets you where you are. So if you think you don't need something, you'd be surprised what's involved in this curriculum that you're missing. So well, I, I, I recommend for anyone. 
everyone. That's great advice, Chantra. Jocelyn, what about for you? Oh, I second that. I would 100% recommend it. I think that you guys just do such a wonderful job. And I think that the way everything's laid out really helps at anyone in any phase of life in this industry and really just walks you through it like hand in hand honestly that's how I felt I felt like we were walking through it together yeah. and so I feel like if you're gonna go into it go into it the right way and like save your time and totally do careers on vacation it's yes. great advice guys and for everyone listening I want to encourage you to uh, just check us out at travelschool.com. That's where you can find all of our information. Um, and I would love for Chantra and Jocelyn to share the names of their companies. So you guys can go follow uh, there as well. Chantra, what's the name of your company for everyone listening? It, it is called Let's Cruise Now. You can follow us at www.letscruisenow.com. Uh, we're on Facebook and we're on Instagram uh, under Let's Cruise Now. Thank you so much. Love it. Jocelyn, <laughs> what about for you? Um, my agency's name is journey and jive travel and it's at www.journeyjivetravel.com and then facebook and instagram is journey and jive travel fantastic well ladies thank you for sharing your inspirational stories today we're doing a little success dance at the end of the call <laughs> that's right i want to congratulate yeah. you again and listen you have a team of cheerleaders for life as you continue to grow your businesses uh, and you'll be over in the grad group. You're not going too far, but thanks for sharing your story today. Thank you so much, Cindy, for everything. Thank you for this program. You are <laughs> so welcome. Guys, every, for everybody else, we'll see you next week. Bye guys. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all the content available to you on our channel. And I invite you to follow along, travel with me around the world as I grow and scale my travel businesses. You're going to pick up some great tips, some great tricks on how you can grow your own travel brand too. I'm going to drop some links down below and also check out these videos I handpicked just for you.